and what is up guys average gear reviewer here back again with another one for you in this one i'm super excited guys i've been waiting all day to unbox this i've got something in from the knife eye king and i just cannot wait to get into this welcome to average gear review but the best gear is the gear you have on you. guys so you know, as I always say, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video, hey, thanks so much for stopping by to watch one of my little videos. If you're a returning viewer, so good to see you back. Hope you've been doing well. And uh, yeah, in this video, I've got something really cool from my friend and uh, Knife Eye King on Instagram. Uh, right up here, the Knife Eye King. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and if you guys remember a little bit of the backstory, he had sent me, um, at the time, I called it the Tactical Front Pocket. Um, it was a prototype of a pocket organizer that he was working on. And so he just recently released a line of those, a production line. Um, they sold out almost instantly. And uh, he had done some in Marine Canvas that I was really interested in getting. And I just happened to comment on there, hey, man, I, I can't believe I missed out on one of those, you know. And uh, he was like, dude, I'm going to make one and send it to you. And uh, so that's what's in this package. Guys, I cannot wait. Can't wait to get into this. I'm so excited about this one. I genuinely. Um, and also this one, I'm sure you will see here in a couple of days. And when we do our Friday night pocket dump, if you uh, remember the um, tactical front pocket has made an appearance in every pocket dump we've done so far. You know, our Friday night pocket dump uh, is where we basically take off all the gear we've been wearing all week. It's a video series I'm doing every week. So come join us on Friday and uh, I'm sure you'll see what's in here making an appearance. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get to the bench. Let's get into this thing. Oh. Okay, guys, so we got the package over here on the desk and I figured it was only fitting that we have the TFP-01, the prototype that started it all. I thought it was only fitting that we have it here to witness the 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 birth of the full production model guys i'm so excited so uh, again we're going to use our uh, unboxing buddy the demco armager 2 and uh, yeah let's get into this thing so yeah um really quick while we're opening it up like guys i had reached out to will and um, just to ask him a couple of questions about this newer model because I'm, I'm really seeing it for the first time here with you guys um so you know, I wanted to ask him a few questions, just kind of get an idea of the differences between this one and the production model. And he was kind enough. Wow, look at that packaging. I like that. That's nice. I wasn't expecting like uh, sleeves and stuff. Okay, so there is a note in here. And a neat little picture there. Check that out, guys. Just sleep that up. And, uh, yeah, let's get into this. Oh boy, it's got that. He did the red stitching just for me. Oh man, that's so cool. Oh yeah, check that out. That is so cool. Oh man. So when I reached out to him, he said he was going to make one, um, especially for me. And uh, you know, I was just wanting to buy one of the existing models. And he said, no, man, I'm going to I'm going to make one just for you. Um, and he did one with the red stitching. So this is a uh, this is a average gear review um, exclusive, I guess you could say. But, yeah, that is so cool. And he hand makes these guys. Like I said, his name is Knife Viking on Instagram. You should definitely go check out his um, check out his Instagram because he posts a lot of really cool knife pics. But also he's posted the evolution of these as they've come from this this version, which was one of the first ones that he made. And this one's in an X-Pack type of material, really, really lightweight, really. Um, that one really just disappears into your pocket. This one's a little more substantial. And what's interesting is, is we've been talking. Um, oh yeah, this, that's just that's so cool. I love that. So uh, what's really neat, guys, is that we've been we were sort of communicating back and forth. And when I got the prototype, you know, he had asked me if um, if I had any ideas for, 
you know, um, things that I would change about it or, you know, because this one really, uh, if you watch my other video on that, and I'll put a link for it up here, um, if you want to watch that original video on this one, um, but just really quickly to recap it for you, this one was one that he made um, specifically for his EDC carry, which was some very things particular to uh, what he carries. And so, you know, I said, uh, you should make one that's a little bit wider and make it with a little bit bigger slots so that you could carry, um, you know, a little bit larger tools in it. And, and it's kind of neat to see that some of the things we talked about are actually reflected in uh, this production model. Um, also, we talked a lot about the use of the hook and loop. Um, and, it went a lot. and I love, I love the solution that he came up with here of using the, uh, this stretch material to sort of form the pocket for the front. And that allows you to move it around and just makes it really, really modular. Of course, it looks like you got a dedicated sort of pin slot here and there is a pocket behind there. Ah, well, man, this is, this is so cool. Dude, you, you knocked it out of the park with this one. So what's really neat to me guys is to watch how this has gone from the prototype to this production model that we're seeing now. And like I said, he did put some of these up for sale in a couple of different materials. I think he offered some in the x -Pack material, some of the Marine canvas, which is what this one is, and then a, a sturdier canvas model. And they all sold out um, just like that. So I, I just thought that was so cool. Um, it was just so neat to see, you know, something be successful. Uh, and see it from the early stages of, you know, when it was in its infancy of basically being born and then seeing what it, uh, you know, and seeing what it became. So, yeah, I am super pumped about this, guys. This is really, really cool. I am hoping to, um, if I can get them in in time, um, I'm hoping to do a couple of these for the giveaway. I'm hoping to give away a couple of these in my 500 subscriber giveaway because uh, honestly, guys, these for me were really a, and this was just maybe a blind spot in my EDC, but, uh, you know, shout out to the knife eye King for uh, showing me the error of my ways. And he really got me started on uh, the pocket organizer, front pocket organizers in particular. And uh, I don't know that I'll ever go back. It's such an awesome, efficient way you know, to carry things. And, um, I can definitely see that everything that's in here will fit into this fairly easily. I don't know if this pocket, okay. So this pocket on the end, it looks like that's not an open pocket. Maybe I know this one is, so definitely we could put the pin there. See flashlight, and I talked about putting a little bit larger slot in here, possibly for a larger size flashlights. Now it will accommodate this one, which is just a small double A EDC flashlight. And he did put a larger pouch in here, which I think you can fit. Um, I think you can fit a multi tool, like a full size multi tool, in that. So that's really cool. And maybe the pin might move over here. Over here or I actually with this one I would probably actually carry a larger pin in this one um, I may be able to actually carry my full-size pin let me grab a couple of things and uh, let's let's just see what all we can fit in here yeah. I'll be right back guys okay so yeah guys got a couple of things to just want to uh, check out here we'll set that out of the way and what I really wanted to see is if this pin will fit in here. And if it will, I'm going to be so happy. Put it on there. Oops. It's, oh, it's just a little bit too big. Just a little bit. But I think that it actually will fit through that one. Now we've activated the laser. <laughs> So yeah, it will fit in that way. Um, and maybe if we 
So if we turn that around, like so. Okay, yeah, that is a pocket. I was just making sure I'm actually using a pocket or a pocket here. Let's see. Work a little better. It's still a little bit of tight fit, and that pin is just these the old pin glows are just a little bit big for an EDC pin, in my opinion. I'd really like to find something a little bit smaller. Um, but maybe a little bit bigger than like the uh, than that Mech Army or the um, O-Pin Minis. Maybe something a little bit larger than that. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to see if... I don't know if these open. Okay, so that is something that I just figured out. And I should have paid more attention in his video that he sent me. These pin, these are open at the top. Okay, so they they're open one way and then they're they're sealed at the bottom. Now, I know in the video he put a Leatherman Wave, I think, in here. So um, but the SOG power power leader definitely fits in there very well. Um, I I kind of figured that that would. Let's see, in my little extended pack. Oh yeah, there's a open mini. Like I said, that one uh, would definitely fit in here easily. Just like butter. <laughs> and see, I think you could even put like a pry tool in here. Yeah. See, these flex pockets in the front make it really easy to fit all kinds of stuff in. And I did want to, because I saw him in the video, I swear I saw him put, and he had a clip on his, I don't have a clip on mine, so. Um, but he put a full-size Leatherman Wave in this big pocket, and I was like, man, there's no way. But uh, he did it. Maybe I should go this way. Oh, Will, if I tear this thing up, uh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a tight fit, but yeah, it will go in there. That is just crazy. So you could carry a full-size multi-tool right there in your front pocket. I mean, that is so cool. And you always could put it, uh, you know, this bigger pocket here, it's got a larger canvas pocket in the back, so you could easily slip it into that, uh, you know, and slip your pin back in here into the dedicated pin slot. That leaves you all these openings. Let's you know, we'll see if the uh, Trevisa Columba will fit. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, let's reverse these. The wave there in the shallower end. And yeah, and that Trevisa Columba, if you've seen that one, that's a big knife. And it fits in there pretty easily. So you can see on this one, he's really upped the uh, amount of space that you have. And then you still have these all available that you can put. Um, you know, I could put my vertical driver in here. Put my flashlight in this one easily, I know. And uh, yeah, and that's, you know, that's way more than you're going to want to carry in your front pocket. Now, to me, I, I, the wave is not something that I would put in there. So this to me would be more of uh, sort of what I would put in here. And then you have the pocket here free to carry other things inside there. But really, the possibilities are endless, guys. You know, it, it, it's just... Um, going to be up for some trial and error to figure out, you know, what to carry in there. Um, but yeah, I can promise you this one will make an appearance tomorrow night in the Friday night pocket dump. And I'll probably have a little better setup on it by then. So be sure and stop by then to check that out. And uh, in advance, if you want to follow us on Instagram over at Average Gear Review, all lowercase, and uh, post your carry for this week. 
and use the hashtag TGIF Pocket Dump. TGIF Pocket Dump. And uh, hopefully we'll see you over there, guys. Anyway, um, yeah, let me give me my Just final Thanks for sticking it out to the end of the video. You know, um, I'm really, really super excited about the possibilities uh, that the Tactical Front Pocket, I'm sorry, this was the Tactical Pocket Platform. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but uh, he's calling this one the Tactical Pocket Platform. The um, <laughs> the one that he sent me, I just sort of named it the, the Tactical Front Pocket. So that was the prototype, but this one is the Tactical Pocket Platform. He is Nifi King on Instagram. Be sure and go over there and follow him. Um, I, I can't wait to see what else he's going to come out with. Um, and look for a couple of these in our 500 subscriber giveaway we got coming up. Super excited about that. I can't wait to get a couple of these into your pockets. And speaking of what's in your pockets, make sure you're here with us tomorrow night. I'm uh, going to show you what all I've been carrying all week. And uh, th obviously, there's going to be uh, some changes. I'm carrying a different knife. I'll give you a little sneak peek of that one. Uh, got the Remet Rhino on me right now. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, you know, like I always say, always be carrying, and in this case, in your front pocket with the tactical pocket platform. And the best gear is the gear you have on you. Average Gear Reviewer, I'm out of here. Average Gear Review. But the best gear is the gear you have on you.